Hey guys, Smelling Roses here. Today I'm back out in the Prince Edward Galleon State Forest in Central Virginia. It's a very rainy day in early September 2014. Okay guys, so we've just left our vehicle parked along a forest road here in the Galleon State Forest. We've entered the woods and we're going to be bushwhacking a short distance. We're going to be traveling due east here through the woods. Should be a pretty easy bushwhack here in this gentle terrain. And I'm hoping to link up with another forest road and in combination with that forest road and some additional bushwhacking, I'm planning to make my way over into the Twin Lakes State Park. So I've used my compass to establish my uh, bearing here, and we're on our way. So we've emerged from the forest into this clearing which has been recently cut so it makes travel very easy here in this area and by my map once we get to this clearing we'll be very close to the forest road that I want to utilize okay guys so we've emerged onto the forest road this road will take us into the Twin Lakes State Park. You might ask, why didn't I just drive into the State Park and park over there? That certainly would be very easy to do. I guess I'm kind of a cheapskate and I don't want to pay the parking fees. <laughs> Pretty much all Virginia State Parks charge a small fee for parking. And you can avoid paying that if you park outside of the park and uh, bushwhack your way in through the back door. But that's not really why I'm doing it. I just wanted to uh, add a little bit to the adventure. The terrain and trails in this area are not particularly challenging. So anything I can do to uh, add a little bit of excitement to the trip, that's what we'll do. So we're bushwhacking in through the forest in combination with the, this forest road. And my goal is to link up with the Otter's Path Trail, which will take me over to Beaver Point Trail. I really enjoy hiking in the rain, snow, fog, any conditions that most people might consider bad or inclement weather. It can have great advantages. Just need to make sure you have the proper gear and you prepare. I always say there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. But if you go prepared, it is quite enjoyable. For example, I'm not dealing with any insects that can be quite a nuisance on the trail. And of course, the greatest nuisance of all other people, I'm not expecting to see uh, any other hikers out here today. just want to pick your hike because uh, naturally if you're going to go through the great effort of climbing a mountain to an open summit or, or exposed rocks and you want to get some great views, you're not going to want to do that on a cloudy rainy day for example. If you're able to pick a clear day naturally that's best. Okay guys, so we've reached the boundary of the state park. You can see the boundary marker here. See that tree also has the paint marks. So we're now in Twin Lakes State Park. So earlier I was talking about seeing other people along the trail and how I find that to be kind of a nuisance. And uh, I am kind of antisocial when I'm out on the trail. I really enjoy being out here by myself and enjoy the solitude enjoy the nature away from other people but I really think everybody should get out and enjoy natural areas 
within the reasonable limits of your physical ability and your skills. Everyone should take advantage of these opportunities. Just don't do it on the same day when I'm out there. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've come a short distance along the road inside the park boundary and I had intended to hike up the road and then uh, make a turn to the right and continue bushwhacking into these woods. However, I've come across this road here and um, this kind of presents an opportunity so I'm going to go check it out. Uh, we may veer away from this road turn towards the left, but uh, we'll hike down here a short distance and see what we find. Okay guys, you can see that the road has been leading downhill. It appears we are heading down into a drainage. I consulted my topographic map and I believe that we're heading down towards the Sandy River which despite the name is probably nothing more than a small creek in this area but it is one of the main feeders for Prince Edward Lake here at the Twin Lakes State Park so I think we'll go down here to the bottom of the drainage pick up the creek and maybe use the creek as our guide towards the lake and by doing so it will make it very easy to pick up the Otter's Path Trail because that trail will also have to cross the creek as it makes a loop around the lake. Alright, check it out guys. This is the Sandy River and we are upstream from Prince Edward Lake. The water is pretty deep here, deeper than I expected, but we have had several days of rain and it's been raining all day today, so uh, I think I'm going to go down there. You can see some rocks. I'm going to go down there and try to cross the creek. Alright guys, so I guess it was a good call taking that uh, forest road instead of bushwhacking down through the woods. Just down here by the creek I see the orange blazes. That indicates that this is the Otter's Path Trail. This trail is a three mile loop that uh, circles around the Prince Edward Lake, which as I mentioned is one of the lakes here at Twin Lakes State Park. This of course is the Sandy River. Of course all Virginia State Parks are very well signed. You can see this is Otter's Path Trail that we are currently on and we're looking for the Beaver Point Trail which is straight ahead and a tenth of a mile. Okay guys we've arrived here to the intersection. The Otter's Path Trail will continue in this direction here and we will probably return from there because the Beaver's Point Trail is a loop. We can enter here and it will reconnect with the Otter's Path Trail down there and we can return via that trail. This will lead us down to the uh, lake. Just look how beautiful it is out here, guys. Even in the rain. Really nice. Very peaceful. Yeah, they've been working on this one.
Okay, since we left the Otter's Path Trail, this Beaver Point Trail has just been following along a ridge out to a point called Beaver's Point, obviously. And pretty soon we're going to start descending down towards the lake shore. Okay guys, so down there through the trees you can get your first glimpse of the Prince Edward Lake. Okay guys, so I've left the official trail and I'm just kind of making my way through the woods here out to uh, what is actually Beaver Point. Try to get some views of the lake. And this is why I'm not crazy about state parks. You can see there's an artificial beach just over there on the other side of the lake, be, uh, what looks like maybe a bathhouse and a conference center. You can see a boat ramp over there. Way up there is one of the roads. So this is Beaver Point. Now if this were out in the wilderness somewhere, this would be really awesome. But here in a state park, which probably exists primarily for recreation, it is what it is. So the Beaver Point Trail continues in this direction. And we will be able to link back up with the Otter Path Trail. Hey guys, so I'm just continuing here along the Beaver Point Trail. This will take us back up the ridge to the Otter's Path Trail we were on earlier. Once I get back to Otter's Path, I'll basically just be heading back the way I came. So I guess I'll go ahead and close out this video. And uh, if anything interesting pops up, I'll be sure to bring you guys back. But the rain has picked up quite a bit in intensity, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pack everything up, button down the hatches, and double time it through these woods. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you along the trail.